neck disease and anxiety, a common symptom that um, doctors don't often relate back to celiac disease and a lot of people with celiac disease don't think to um, talk to their doctor about. So the definition of anxiety according to the Merriam-Webster online dictionary is a painful or apprehensive uneasiness of mind usually over an impending or anticipated ill, fearful concern or interest, um, or an abnormal or overwhelming sense of apprehension and fear often marked by physiological signs. And there has been a lot of research done on celiac disease and anxiety, and there is actually a huge correlation between the two. And according to recognizing celiac disease, anxiety is common in people with celiac disease and may actually be the only manifestation. Celiac disease patients showed high levels of state anxiety and a significantly higher percentage compared to controls. And those numbers were 71.4% in celiacs um, versus 23.7% in non-celiac patients. Also, some researchers believe that the malabsorption um, due to celiac disease can interfere with the body's handling of neurotransmitters that regulate people's moods, which makes a lot of sense. In particular, malabsorption-related deficiencies of tryptophan appear to contribute to depression in celiac patients. Um, tryptophan is necessary for the body's production of serotonin, which is the central neurotransmitter involved in regulation of mood and anxiety. When I found that out, I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, and I'm just talk about a few studies. Um, one study in Finland was done on 12 to 16 year olds with celiac disease um, who were very depressed before going on a gluten-free diet um, and had a certain hormonal biochemical derangement associated with depression. After three months of being on a gluten-free diet, the same adolescents had improved hormone biochemistries and a significant, significant decrease in psychiatric symptoms. Also, and this other one's really interesting too, a medical study evaluating blood flow in the brain showed evidence of significant blood flow alteration in the brains of people with celiac disease who had only anxiety or depression, um, neurological symptoms, and were not on a gluten-free diet. Um, CT scans showed at least one hypoperfused brain region in 73% of untreated celiac disease patients compared to 7% of patients on a gluten-free diet and none in the controls. Um, so basically that means blood flow in the brain and nutritional deficiencies play a huge part in anxiety, which I would have never put those two together. Um, if nutritional deficiencies are the source of the problem, then medications will be less effective requiring increasingly strong doses because the body and the brain do not have what they need to utilize them. Um, and the great part about the study is the findings once people took gluten out of their diet that people's anxiety was significantly reduced if not completely um, gone once the gluten was removed from their diet. And just some personal things, I had suffered from terrible, terrible, terrible anxiety crippling anxiety to sometimes I couldn't even leave my apartment because I was just so anxious about things I couldn't even explain. If people asked what was going on, I wouldn't even be able to talk about it. And little things would set me off, very, very irritable, and just this constant feeling of being overwhelmed. And it's funny too, when I have accidental gluten exposure, I the, one of the first signs is that I get really anxious. And I know now exactly why that happens in my body because of these studies and I'm so thankful someone did a correlation between anxiety and celiac disease and if you know someone who suffers from basically just chronic anxiety and nothing is helping, no medications, you know, refer them to their doctor and have them tested for celiac disease because these studies show that it can be the only manifestation, uh, the only symptom of celiac disease in some patients and I would never put that together. I know I said that a lot already but still I find it quite surprising. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, feel free to email me, tinsley at celibo.com. Hope everyone's doing well out there. As always, it's from have not to have and gluten-free dining. Thank you so much.